So this was like the creepiest chapter of Bleach I've read in a while. Alright, so 501. We flashed a little bit of the Ichigo stuff. We get to see some of that. And unfortunately, a lot of our hopes were dashed of seeing any Grim Jow or any return from a villain from the past. Because we get a little bit of the Ichigo stuff. But for the most part, we flash back to some of the fight with the captains, with the Stern Ritters. And I'm a little bit like, ooh, I wanted to see more of that. But at the same time, you know, he... I guess Kubo wants to dangle that over our head so that we'll keep reading, I guess, like, if we're going to drop it this far in the game or something. But um, this chapter was just crazy. So basically, you got Asnod, which, by the way, I've always said that that was out of all the Stern Ritters. I was looking forward to seeing what he can do the most. And then you got him versus Biapia. And the stuff that he does in this chapter to Biapia he is just, like, mind-boggling. Like, I was like, what the heck is going on? He got Biakia shaking in his boots. And this is when you know that the villain is crazy when he got Biakia scared. He was like, is this poison? What's going on? And as not as describing it, like, no, this isn't poison. This is fear. This is something you forgot a long time ago. And I was just like, yo, because there was a panel of, he, he's thinking about Rukia, Biakia, and then she turns into like a skeleton with her eyeball hanging out. I was like, what am I reading? This was some creepy stuff. This chapter was like, it showed that Asnod is one creepy dude or one creepy gal. Because I, I believe people are saying Asnod is a girl. I don't know. It doesn't seem like that. But whatever. Either way, this was a creepy, really creepy chapter. And then we see at one point, Biakia is covered in like bugs or something. And I'm like, are these hallucinations? Like, what is going on? Either way. This was, like, really just crazy out of the water. I was just, like, uh, not too much happened in a sense because for the most part it was just Biafia talking about, like, him being scared. At first it was kind of funny because him and Renji are talking. And this was a really funny one because Biafia kind of shitted all over Renji as, like, a fighter and everything. Uh, he's like, oh, I'm going to I'm gonna fight him, test him out so you can see how he fights so you can beat him. And then Renji's like, oh, I'll do it. And then Biakia tells him something like, you're not smart enough or something. I was like, wow, Biakia did not just crap all over Renji's manhood. And either way, that was just funny. And But then he tells him that, but then he's shaking in his boots. So we got to just see what happens. I was just, like, blown away, to be honest with you, at how creepy this chapter was. If anything describes this chapter, it's definitely creepy because, you know, we got... Biakia thinking of Rukia with her eyeball hanging out as a skeleton. Then he's covered in bugs. And then at the end, it looks like Asnod won. Like, he's like, it says farewell or something at the end. You see Asnod, like, it, it, the drawing was kind of abstract and weird. Because you got, like, Asnod, he's, like, sucking up. It looks like Biakia or something, like a vortex. I don't even know what the heck that was. But we definitely know that this is crazy. Because if he got Biakia scared... I'd imagine that he could probably do this to anyone else, probably except Kenpachi. I don't see Kenpachi getting scared of this, what, you know, whatsoever. How is Biakia going to get out of this? Maybe there's some way that he could snap himself out of it. This is my prediction. Possibly there's some way that he could get out of this. Because it, it seems like it's most likely, uh, I guess you could call it Genjutsu, an illusion, whatnot. Because that's what I'm guessing it is. Because there's no way that, you know, he's going to be seeing Rukia with an eyeball hanging out and bugs surrounding him and whatnot. So, I'm guessing that this is an illusion. And hopefully, Biakia could break himself out of it. If not, maybe Renji can do it. I mean, Renji's standing right there. So, somebody got to break him out of this. That's what I'm guessing. It's an illusion. Um, it was weird overall. The whole thing, I was just like, you know, why is this so creepy on a Bleach chapter? Either way, interesting stuff. I wish we got to see more of what happened with Grim Jow uh, or, you know, what happened with Ichigo and see if Grim Jow or Aizen or all the crazy predictions I've seen of who is that. Kubo's going to dangle that over our head for a bit, I guess, because, you know, he wants to keep us intrigued and whatnot. But either way, it was a really interesting chapter. I definitely recommend it because Biafia scared is not something you see every day and this chapter definitely display that. And I want to see more. Um, is Biafia going to die in this war? That's really what I'm wondering. Like, wow. Let me know what you thought. Do you think Biakia is going to fall to Asnod in this one? Because it's definitely a possibility. This is a war, so who knows who's going to die. And when is Kubo going to let us know who that was that went up against uh, 
that showed himself against Kisuke and defeated Kurge. You know, why not this chapter? Uh, that's all I have for this quick review. Crazy stuff. Let me know what you think. I'm from that world. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up if you can't wait for Kubo to reveal who the heck it is. And see if Bianca is going to fall victim to Asnod. As always, people, have an awesome day.